here I am and there's birds flying to my hand. I feel like a Disney princess sometimes, I'm not gonna lie. two or three years ago, if we were sitting out on our deck and there were blue jays. So I just put a few little peanuts out on the railing every day and he came to my railing. And then over the matter of a few months, I started getting them closer and closer. And Stormy started to trust me because I have to trust Stormy's boundaries. And then the following year, he disappeared for the winter. But he came back in the spring with Walter. Walter would come right up to me almost more than Stormy. And that just kind of started it. Oh Lenny and Squiggy came the following year. There was actually four chickadees. I started uh, feeding them. They would stand outside my window to let me know when they were there. Hi there. Hi there. Hi guys, hi there. I'd grab my peanuts and I'd go out, have, have my little break. Dormy actually used to follow me around the house and tap on the window wherever I was. I can't even tell you how much I loved that. There was a real bond, it was incredible. I just wanted to share something with you guys that we are which meant I had to say goodbye to Lenny and Squiggy today and Walter and feed them for the last time. The month prior to moving, I'd, I teared up every day. It was really joked up thinking about it now. When I moved here, first month I came out every morning and I'd open the door and they'd all fly away. And I, I was I was really nervous, I was devastated. But I just kept showing up every day. Like I started learning how to walk around them so they wouldn't fly away. And then when I got to that point, then I started throwing big shelled peanuts far away and then slowly brought them closer and closer. It was really amazing. And then one day, Morty landed on my hand for the first time and I couldn't believe it. And then within a week, Morty started flying across the yard to me and it was spectacular. Morty was the bravest one, Juniper was kind of second. They make a lot of noise and that often wakes me up and it's my favorite alarm clock. And then I get up, put my coat on and I just come out and I usually spend my morning waking up with them. Oh, I can't take it. If you had told me this is what would be happening three years ago, I would not have believed you. Like I didn't know I was a bird person and here I am a bird person and I love it.